back today and I'm going to be doing a video on how I organize my chest of drawers. And I feel like this is going to be a great video because I did a coffee table organizing video about a couple years ago and I feel like a lot of you really enjoyed that. And I always get requests to do decor or kind of like sneak peeks of my my place so I thought this would be fun and I figured everyone has a chest of drawers not everyone has a coffee table because some people are students and things and some people might still live at home so but I figured everyone has a chest of drawers or a place where you kind of display your knickknacks and things like that um, I feel like I take a lot of pride in the way I display things and I collect and so I thought this would be fun because I have been collecting these things that I'm going to share with you over the years and they all have like sentimental value and um, things like that so I, I, know, I just think it's, it will be fun and I feel like you guys will like it too. So I'm going to back up and show you guys my chest of drawers and the things around it and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do um, kind of describe everything that's on the chest of drawers as well. I don't know why those lamp shades are coming up purple, but they're actually black. Okay, so this is my chest of drawers, and I'm going to start off be by saying it was my brother's chest of drawers when he was a kid growing up, and it used to be all wood. And all I did was um, paint the drawers white, and I painted the black part, or the rest of the, like the, um, the, the rest of the chest black and it's in a high gloss and it's not the glossiest I would have liked it to be glossier but it just kind of turned out semi gloss even though I used high gloss um, so yeah uh, that's the chest of drawers the floor lamp on the right is from Z Gallery and the tabletop lamp on the left is from Home Goods about three years ago uh, the garment rack in the corner over there and I love that thing because I can display like my favorite pieces on it. Right now I love that kind of maroon um, red dress and I have like a stole on it with long chains. Sometimes I display things I'm going to wear during the week or an outfit of the day on it and I just find it really useful and it's easy to take pictures and things like that when I want to show outfits or things. I really like that and it's like somewhere you know I have nice things I feel like, like a nice dress and stuff. I want to display it. I don't want to really put it away. <laughs> I'm weird like that. I don't know. Um, the big mirror is from Z Gallery, and that's like one of my favorite pieces ever, all time, in like my whole place. And that was something I really knew I wanted, um, so I got that over a year ago. And then the air tape print on, that's on the floor on the right, I got that from Flea Market, and I just put it in a frame from Ikea. I don't like the white uh, mat that it's in right now. I think it needs a black one, but that's all I um, have for it right now. Okay, so now I'm going to walk up to the chest of drawers and I'm going to talk about each little piece and I'm going to start off from the lamp we talked about so I'm going to talk about everything else near it and right here these are little um, things that I bought when I was in Shanghai in January when I was visiting and they're like little like good luck um, tassels and I think they're called gongshi and this is a peach one and this is a navy one navy blue one the next thing is my milk glass bowl right here, and I love milk glass. If you guys have been following my blog, you probably know that I love milk glass. I love black and white colors specifically. Um, so whenever I go to flea markets, there's a ton of milk glass, but whenever, and it's pretty common, but the unusual shape of this, and sometimes you find some really kind of different milk glass shapes at flea markets, whenever I find something unusual, I, I kind of pick it up because those are kind of more rare. This one has like a dragon at the bottom, and this is like a shell, I think. And I just keep my chains that I wear pretty much every day in here. This is an apothecary jar. I got this one at Target like three years ago, and I think it's just like the perfect shape. I'm really picky about shapes, so I feel like it's not too fancy. Um, it has like the straight lines. I like that. Next is my little Blythe doll, and you guys, uh, again, if you've been following my blog, you know, you probably know about my Blythe doll. Right now she's wearing um, My Melody Bunny ears, and she's wearing lingerie, because she was wearing a white dress, but I took it off because I got kind of tired of it. And she has green eyes today, but um, you can change her eyes into like different colors, and she has green ones. Okay, the next is this little um, elephant bowl, and this is from Jonathan Adler, and I just really like it. It's really cute. It's from his menagerie collection, and I think it's just adorable. I also keep um, other chains in here that I wear every day. Uh, the next thing is this little sugar bowl, 
and right here. And one of my faithful subscribers, now she's a friend, Megan, sent this to me um, for Christmas one year. And I just really, it's not only is it cute, but it reminds me of like my subbies and she's like so sweet. And so I just keep little uh, perfume samples in it. Uh, the next thing is this little uh, silver plated tin. And I got this at a flea market as well. It's more of like a keepsake box and it is kind of like peeling up on, on the edges because it's not totally silver, it's not completely silver, but it's still pretty and it's intricate and I just keep old rings in there. Then I have this uh, vase with a fake uh, flower in it and it's a pink, light pink milk glass in the shape of a horn and it's actually called depression glass I believe. I love that piece. I love any kind of depression glass in that color. Then I have my three little bunnies and I got this one from a flea market. This one is a gift from my mom. And this little guy is actually a lamb, but I feel like he looks like Bao. And I got him at the Swarovski outlet in Carlsbad in California. And he's really, they're all really cute. Okay, so the next I have a little ring holder and it's actually a little bunny and then you can put your rings in it. And it's kind of a disaster, but I have a lot of rings that I wear. Okay, next is my perfumes. And they're organized pretty well right now. And the ones that I wear the most is this one by Gucci Flora and this Michael Kors one. I love those, those are my favorite. Okay, so then next I have this little Lucite tray, and I got this from the container store, and I keep all of my um, gem pieces, my Swarovski crystal pieces in here, so that they, because if I kept them in these things, they would get scratched. So I just keep them laid out here in this pretty box. And then these are my two Michael Kors watches. Um, then this is my little pudding dish that I got at an estate sale. And it's cute because it's milk glass, but it's also kind of an interesting shape and has pretty detail on it. And inside are two antique Coco Chanel bottles that I got at a flea market as well. And then some mini Chloe bottles that I got from Duty Free when I was traveling through Seoul, Korea. Next is my little bunny, my little nightlight bunny. And I got him from Anthropology. Um, then I have my three boxes here, these little like keepsake boxes that I, or not, they're like packaging boxes that I took, kept for like keepsake boxes. This is from Yadre and this is from Yadre from New York when I went this past couple months ago. It was my first time in New York. Um, this one had macaroons in it and this one had Jordan almonds in it, but now they're empty. Uh, this is a little Chanel box that came with, uh, my earrings came in it, but now I just keep like little, um, bobby pins and safety pins in it and things. Next is this frost bottle and this frost bottle is an antique bottle and I don't know if you can see the color. I tried to show you but you can't really tell unfortunately. It's an antique bottle and it's completely like um, oxidized and it has an aurora borealis color to it. The entire bottle is like aurora borealis. And my dad, um, for as a hobby, he excavates and digs old bottles, antique bottles. And that bottle my parents had on my changing table when I was a baby. So I just keep it here and I have, um, I keep like a fresh flower in it every, like every couple, every week I'll change it and that's just a light pink Gerber daisy. Then this is just for change because I always have loose change. It's just a candle votive that I keep here. Next is, a, uh, I just have this bust here. I have all different kinds of busts but this is another one that I have. And I have always keep my sh my um, original cuff necklace up because it's a piece I wear the most and it's a piece I'm most proud of. So that's that. Then I have my Veluspa candle and the flavor is lychee. I don't really like this one though. It's a really sweet. It almost smells like or, yeah. It almost smells like fruit punch. It's very sweet. I like more woodsy flavors, but it kind of goes. So and I'm trying to use it up so I can get a new one. <laughs> Next are some picture frames, and this is a picture frame from my boyfriend, and it's from Jonathan Adler, and there's a picture of him and I inside, but I've covered up the pictures with little sticky notes, 
because just for privacy issue reasons. Oh, well, that wasn't too private. <laughs> I just thought I'd cover up the pictures. Next is, um, this one's my brother's in this one, but I covered him as well. And then everyone knows Bao, so that's a picture of Bao being really cute. And I had him in my bed one day, and I got the cutest picture. And he was like hating me forever for doing that to him. <laughs> so bad. Okay, then I have more depression glass here. This is a piece I got up north um, from a thrift store. And inside of it, I just keep some matches for my candle and some old rings. And then back here is another depression piece, a depression glass piece. And it's also light pink. And I just keep like receipts and things and like just kind of like a catch all thing. So that's that. That is my uh, chest of drawers. And it is really cluttered, but I feel like it's like contained and pretty cluttered at the same time. I really like it. I don't feel like my other my house is very cluttered other than right here, and these are the kind of things that I've collected over the years. And I, I the only advice I'd give you guys is don't rush into buying knickknacks. And I mean, I find that, and you can just go to any kind of like store and buy things and just put all over all over the place or whatever, but they don't really mean anything. So when I do, when I buy things, they are like a real find for me and I consider them to be like a real gem. And I really love everything I buy as far as like de decor because I know that I want it to mean something and I want it to be really unique. So yeah, I would just suggest to make sure that things that you pick up for your place or for your your table or your chest are like special things that are um, special to you and mean something. So that's that. I hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, hope everyone has a great day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.